Hello everyone, this is a simple, or as simple as I can make it, MMD tutorial on smooth animation. I would like to thank my friend Amy, uh, Annie, I'm sorry Annie, oh my god. This is what happens when I get no caffeine. Um, my friend Annie, she taught me how to make smoother animations and I want to do the same for you baby children. Uh, she wants me to take down this video, I will take down the video. Um, but I don't think she'll have a problem with me teaching you all how to make smooth animation. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to load up your model, which I have loaded up my, uh, or Swap Mares. It's not really mine, I just downloaded it. Swap Mares, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, or Mako's, uh, Miku, Bonnie model, yes. Now the first thing I'm going to do, because I freaking hate edge lines, so I'm going to turn those all the way down, and actually I'm going to just a little bit, like, so we're at still 0, 0.0, but you kind of push it to the, um, to the right a little, but still 0, 0, I couldn't think, I'm sorry. And we have a nice, nice, nice model. Holy shit. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, Bonnie Miku here in a more relaxed pose. So just put her in a relaxed pose. Just pretty, pretty relaxed pose. How beautiful. And I'm actually going to be lazy and load the hand pose data, so I'm just going to register that. And let's see, what do I want to make her do? Do. Um, I think I'm going to tilt her head downward this way, tilt it that way a little bit, register, take the head bone, tilt it upwards that way, that way, register. Let's see here. I'm going to change the camera position to about right here. Leak seems good. Register back to model. <coughs> I'm going to go to about frame 12 and I'm going to find the groove bone, which is this bone right here for this model. If it doesn't have a groove bone, there are plenty of tutorials on how to add groove bones. I'll wait for you. Go ahead and look them up. You can pause this video and look up how to add groove bones, but um, yeah, just kind of move it just a little bit with the X and Z register and just send an interpolation because interpolation is key to happiness. So you can see here, she moves a little bit, just kind of like a natural smooth movement. And we're going to go about frame, uh, uh, let's say frame 25 and have her neck move to us. Her head tilt this way and register. And we're going to set the interpolation curve. We're going to go forward about two frames. Mm, yeah, about two frames. You can change that if you want to, but we're going to also, we're going to take the head bone and we're going to turn it a little bit this way and kind of tilt it, oops, tilt it this way. Register, center interpolation curve. Let's see how that looks. <clears throat> looks pretty good. I'm um, about frame 21. Move her eyes to us. Register, and I'm going to center interpolation curve. Looks pretty good, and I'm going to take... At about frame 30, I'm going to rotate the groove bone with the Y axis. So it looks like she's rotating to us. Actually, I'm going to make it about a little further than that, about mm, 44. Let's see how that looks before I do anything else. Alright, so about 41. I'm going to rotate her head this or her neck this way. Register interpolation, and I forgot to set the interpolation for the groove bone. So let me do that real quick. Two frames forward. Register with the head bone. I mean, 
interpolation. And we're going to move her eyes this way. Interpolation. Actually, I don't like that. I'm gonna like do this for an interpolation for the eyes. This is usually what I do for the eyes. And I'm gonna make her a little blink. So we're gonna register the blinking. This is the blinking. If you don't know what the blinking looks like, if it's like a null, just kind of do that. But I know this is the blinking. Go forward about three frames. I didn't count. One, two, three. Close it halfway, like about right there. Go to the next frame, close it all the way, one, two, three frames, and then open it back up. Actually, I'm going to uh, take her groove bone, I think this was the groove, yes, her groove bone, I'm going to turn a little more this way, to forget the inflation curve. And this is a, that was a very simple animation tutorial. Um, uh, let's do something else with her because she just seems really dull. Let's select on register there. Go a few more frames, we're going to raise her upper arm up. Go forward, and then make a little bit, yeah. Go forward a few frames. Wrong way. And about right there. Going to load a high pose, and that is her left hand, I believe. Yes. I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay. Interpolation for all of these. The interpolation makes this animation really smooth, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if it does or not. It just makes a smoother animation. And there you have it. Um, her arm looks really weird, but you know what? Who cares? I don't care. I, I do, but you know, <laughs> this isn't, uh, <clears throat> this is, a uh, just, yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Just, just let her look to you and have her wave. What a beautiful, 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 beautiful animation. And I'm going to add a little effect to it. Um, this one I want. Yes. Take that right there. Register that. Change this a little bit. So that. Load SSAO light, and okay, so let's see how that looks. Oops, I don't know how to play. Um, you know, I actually, oh, hang on. Copy, delete, paste. All right, all right, we got that now. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, um, I'm going to actually, about 31, I'm going to move her groove bone again. I'm sorry for my dog barking. She likes to be annoying. Make sure you move her groove bone. Delete that. And actually, I'm gonna like tilt her head this way. Let's see. 
You want to just move the groove bone a little bit. Oh, that's too much shit. Just to make it look like she's like swaying back and forth. Like, you know, you do in real life. Nobody's still in real life. I'm sorry, baby children, you're not still in real life. But just kind of put it in random places. Like, I think that might have been... It's right there, maybe. Let me see. My dog is annoying. She's barking everywhere. Okay, that looks a lot better. Let's just play that. So, I hope this tutorial helped, and uh, look forward to more MMD tutorials by yours truly. Annie, if you want me to take this tutorial down, please tell me, because um, you're the one that taught me how to do this shit. Um, yeah, also, before you render your video, make sure you turn these things off. Because ain't no one want that. No one wants those. Hell no. Hell no. Alright. Um, microphone was all the way over there for some reason. So yeah, Annie, if you want me to take this tutorial down, just let me know. Bye! Oh god. What? <laughs>